What's up, Infected, and welcome to the quarantine. This is just going to be an update video, kind of covering a few of the things going As on. As you may or may not have already noticed, uh, my lighting is a little bit better. Uh, my audio is a little bit better because I recently picked up a, a cheap little lighting kit and uh, a cheap mic because my last, my little lapel mic, if you notice I'm not wearing it here, my lapel mic decided to just die right in the middle of recording a review, uh, which put me behind by like a week and it was ridiculous. It was a cheap little, I think like $20 little lapel mic, but uh, I wound up caving, had a little bit extra money set aside for the channel. So I went ahead and bought a mic and some light, uh, some cheap lighting kits, which I have around. I'm still tinkering with it, trying to get it working properly. So, uh, cause you know, it's a, I need to watch some videos to see how it works. But anyways, uh, hopefully the audio and the lighting winds up being a lot better. On a side note, uh, my Facebook, my personal Facebook wound up getting deleted, which I was also using uh, to get, you know, review copies. I was a, a member of a couple Facebook groups where publishers will frequently post games and you could request to review them and stuff like that. And my personal Facebook got deleted with not much more than just a shrug from Facebook. And I tried disputing it. It just completely disabled. No warning, no nothing. And uh, to the best of my knowledge, I never did anything to warrant that. And uh, the only thing they responded with was just a little copy-paste paragraph of, you did one of these, like, six things, none of which I did. I tried disputing it for, like, three weeks. Nobody ever responded. They just kept, somebody kept just closing the case and not responding. So it's like they're looking over going, oh, yeah, fuck that guy, and just close the case. That's basically all what kept happening. So I wound up opening a dispute with the Better Business Bureau because, you know, it was also hurting me in terms of getting reviews and stuff like that. So it wound up being this big headache. Still hasn't been resolved. I wound up just saying screw it and created a new Facebook account with a new email because they didn't even remove it from the old email address, which was frustrating. But um, so hopefully that'll be able to pick back up with more review copies and, and stuff like that. But uh, I just wanted to let people know that that's why I probably haven't had too many reviews out lately is because of that. It, it was super annoying and I just find it kind of BS that the past 10 years just got wiped away and nobody will tell me why and it's super annoying. So some of you guys may already be aware, I'm going to start trying to dip back into reviewing video games. Now as of right now, because uh, a lot of you guys know I started reviewing video games, but then games started getting more advanced for my computer. Um, on top of that, it was I like to play games to their completion before I review them, which makes it to where I don't, because I generally don't have the time to play a game all the way to completion. And if I do, I usually have to put it on easy in order to be able to do it, because I just don't have the time as I used to, having a full-time job, plus this channel that I'm trying to make something out of, plus a family, plus social obligations, plus board game reviews, plus it's just chaos pretty much most of the time. But, uh, so... I'm going to probably start doing more of a, like I'll play for a few hours, you know, five maybe hours or something, and then kind of do a review based on that. However, the three reviews that are coming out, uh, I played to completion and I beat. Uh, spoilers, they're good games. Um, but uh, that's kind of what I'm wanting to do because I do enjoy uh, reviewing video games and board games for that matter. Um, so I figure I'll probably go ahead and start doing reviews for video games and just state whether I've beat it or how many hours, like kind of like how I used to, because I used to do that anyways. Um, but there's kind of a more of a tack on with that. Um, a lot of you guys or some of you guys that may watch this knows one of my highest viewed videos is a review of Starpoint Gemini. So the publishers or the developers of that game uh, caught notice of me being one of the highest viewed, I guess, videos for theirs or something. And they messaged me and they gave me a Steam copy of their newest game, which is in like alpha. No, I think it's in beta or whatever stages. Um, so I'm probably going to wait on that because it lacks a lot of polish currently. But uh, they want me to review their new one, uh, Starpoint Gemini 2 Warlords or something like that. Um, so far it seems pretty neat, but like I said, it needs a lot of polish. So I may do like a first look and then 
do a review later or maybe just wait on the review. I'm not sure yet. But uh, my computer's getting a bit dated and it's kind of, I don't really have the money to upgrade it. So most of the video games that I'm going to review are probably going to be PlayStation 4 games because I can always stream the footage over to Twitch and then rip the footage off of that to be able to then use for review. So that's kind of what's going to happen there. So with Guardians of the Galaxy 2 coming out and then Alien Covenant and a few other movies that I want to go see, uh, I don't go out to watch movies a whole lot, but I'm kind of debating on doing movie reviews when I do go see them, because why the hell not? Because um, I recently watched Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Season 2, or I think it's called Season 2, but Second Guardians of the Galaxy, and I was thinking about doing a review for it, like a spoiler-free review, uh, maybe making those little five-minute reviews or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if that's something you might want to watch, or I'd probably just do it anyways. I don't know. But I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. Last up on the agenda is YouTube's Adpocalypse. Now, I'm a pretty small fry in terms of all of YouTube, uh, in terms of most of YouTube, actually, and I also have been hit by the Adpocalypse. I'm making, like, not even enough to get a value meal at McDonald's kind of money uh, from YouTube, which, granted, I was never making a lot at all uh, from YouTube, but it's really affected me, and it's, it's made doing this a little more difficult, which I'm going to keep doing it. I enjoy doing it. It's not like I'm dumping a ton of money into it, but it was nice to be able to eventually and hopefully, you know, in the future, being able to see that maybe I can get a little bit of money to help with bills and stuff like that. And, uh, but YouTube's Adpocalypse has pretty much made that never going to happen now. Uh, so if you notice in a lot of my videos, I have removed the whole, if you like my channel, check out my Patreon. I still leave the links there, but I don't direct people towards it. Cause I figure if you like my show, you're probably maybe looking into, you might look into supporting anyways or whatever. So I feel kind of pushy if I'm like, check out my Patreon. But I just kind of wanted to mention that here. If you like my show, you like what I'm doing, you want to support me, uh, please check out my Patreon. I'll have a link to it up here and down in the descriptions. If not, I mean, like I said, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I enjoy doing this, uh, but any little bit would help. So especially where my ad revenue has been cut to almost nothing. And depending on how much I get, if I can start getting a decent amount, I mean, I'll probably just pull the monetization from my channel anyways and make it ad free, uh, which I was thinking about doing anyways, because the amount that I'm making is like almost hilarity levels. So, and that's really the bulk of what I wanted to talk about. I hadn't had an update video in a while. There's a bunch of stuff going on. So I figured I'd kind of mention things about it. Uh, about what's going on. So I've been talking with a couple companies there. I have a couple more reviews coming down the line. Uh, I am going to Gen Con uh, here in, what is it, August, I think? Yeah. And uh, I've reached out to them to see what I can cover. I did put in for a press pass. They rejected it because my audience isn't big enough. Uh, but I am allowed to record, but I can't bring a tripod. However, I could do interviews, but again, no tripod. So what I'll probably do is my mic records directly to it. It's got an internal memory. So I'll probably just do audio interviews with uh, publishers and stuff and maybe do a little bit of video. I'm not really sure, but I will do a little bit of coverage or as much as I can anyways of Gen Con and put it up on the channel. Uh, hopefully interviewing some publishers and some developers and stuff like that. And, and hopefully that goes well, but I'm really looking forward to it. It's my first uh, real big convention outside of Yamacon. But anyways, uh, again, if you like the uh, show, you li you'd like to support it, uh, you like what I'm doing, check out my Patreon. But if not, keep watching. I like what I'm doing. And anyways, I'll see you guys next time in the quarantine. <laughs>